Imagine a world where numbers didn't exist. We wouldn't know the answers to any of these questions. How much? How heavy? How long? Or how far? If you think about it, we really needed something to help us with counting. Something to count our fingers. Count the number of chocolates you bought at the candy store. Count the number of stars in the sky and so on. That's how all of these numbers came into existence. They are also called counting numbers because they help us to count. But soon just counting was not enough. We needed different types of numbers to represent different kinds of quantities. What a coincidence! Bhanu and Peter are talking about the types of numbers around us. Hey Peter, why do you look so confused? It's numbers, Bhanu. Numbers confuse me. Oh, that's it. You just need to learn more about the number system and you won't be confused anymore. Really? Please tell me more. All the numbers we see around us can be categorized like this. All the numbers fall into these two categories. Real numbers, imaginary numbers. Remember, we were discussing counting numbers before? Well, counting numbers are nothing but natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on till infinity. These are all natural numbers. Imagine a big circle filled with all the natural numbers. It will look something like this. Oh, and what about zero? Do you use zero for counting? No, right? For that, we have whole numbers. The numbers starting from zero to infinity are called whole numbers. Now our circle looks like this. This means all the natural numbers are whole numbers. But all the whole numbers are not natural numbers. That's interesting. So we officially have a digit to represent nothing? Correct. Now Bhanu and Peter are at an ice cream shop. Peter has 10 rupees but wants to buy an ice cream worth rupees 20. Bhanu pays 10 rupees for Peter's ice cream. That means Peter owes Bhanu 10 rupees. Peter, I just paid 10 rupees for you. We can represent this situation using negative numbers. Anything that comes before zero is a negative number. Negative numbers represent the loss or lack of something. Positive numbers and negative numbers form opposite numbers and together we call them integers. So now our big circle of numbers has integers as well and it looks something like this now. Let's recap what we have learned today. Peter, you want to go ahead? Yes. Numbers starting from 1 to infinity are called natural numbers. Numbers starting from 0 to infinity are called whole numbers. Positive and negative numbers together are called opposite numbers or integers. There you go. See? Numbers aren't that difficult to understand. If you want to learn in-depth math concepts in an interactive, fun story narrative way, do check out our website www.bhanzu.com or click on the link provided in the description below to book a free demo today. Trivia time! Fun fact about the number 9. Number 9 is considered to be a magic number. Let me tell you why. When you multiply a number by 9 and add all the digits of the new number together, the sum will always add up to 9. Let's take an example. 6 times 9 is equal to 54. Now, 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Or, 18 times 9 is equal to 162. Now, 1 plus 6 plus 2 is equal to 9. See, isn't that truly magical? 
try it out and let me know what combination you tried. We will talk about the other types of numbers in the upcoming video. Make sure to hit that red subscribe button and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Until then, keep learning and keep growing. Bye.